Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 73 of Ocean Block. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's getting up there. Um, in today's episode, we're going to finish the expansion on the Botany Garden and potentially do some more um, singularity work. So, <laughs> I've been working on this. Um, for quite some time trying to get this done uh, because it added way more botany pots than I had calculated. Uh, I only counted seven per level and I can fit 23. Uh, so that was almost a hundred more uh, botany pots. So that was really good. <laughs> um, so I've got all the pipes laid down and I've been going through and just making the botany pots uh, and uh oh I don't have my oh no that was correct I had it right the first time so I have to to get these, uh, let me swap that out because I need to break these. Whoa! I gotta set all the pipes to extract because uh, I already saw them taking items in. Bad items! I uh, gotta sneak under there. No, you have to be sneaking. See, there's those sea pickles going into the next chest. <laughs> it's a race. Uh, so now I have almost a hundred more botany pots to access in here. That's a lot. And I want to make uh, all of the, the floor in the middle to be glass so I can see all the stuff. See all the stuff. I like seeing the stuff going around. <laughs> um, and I've had some ideas about uh, the matter condenser. Like, maybe I don't need all those different matter condensers. Maybe if I just built a bunch of cobble generators and just fed it all into one, would it, would it be better? Would it be better? I don't know. Uh, it might seem like it's better, but in theory, the cobble gens are going to produce the same amount. So, I don't know. Maybe if we could get um, better pipes for it? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to rework it somehow. Boink. So yeah, I want to replace this floor middle with gold with, with the mana glass. Um, I'm not sure what'll what'll happen if I use my teleporter from inside here. Will it will it go? Oh. I was afraid it was gonna break the world or something. <laughs> Zor No oh, that's elf glass. That should be enough. Botany garden. And this one doesn't need to be glass, I don't think. Oh, I could use um I could use my building gadget for this so I don't have to 
break the blocks. Um, I guess just doing it single would be fine. Because I don't want it to like replace the pipes on accident. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's what I like about the Britannia glass, is that uh, you can break it and get it back. And it has connected texture, and it emits, emits light. What's not to love about it? <laughs> now hopefully, uh, now I can see like when the items are going. Down there, oh yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is so good. Awesome. See all the stuff. And now you can see, I don't have any farmland in here. So I need to, I need to make that happen, but I still have 11 uh, 11 pots over here to fill up. I have to decide what I'm going to put in all these. Um, what, what can I do? That would be the most benefit. Um, I already put the Inferium in there. Already added, um, oh, did I put Obsidian in there? I think I was going to. Yeah, I put Obsidian back here. That's right. So we should be getting some noticeable increase in Obsidian. Um, Let's see, how much have we gotten so far? Ooh, we've already got like, increased 500-ish. 500-ish, nice. So that's good. Um, we could probably go ahead and do the, um, the neural, processor I think um, let me get rid of some of this stuff um, put you there I've changed a lot of the floor <laughs> got lots of extra uh, the Britannia glass I can put back out here. Excellent. Um, maybe we should start looking at like what machines we need to do the the H. What is it H? H P H D P E singularity, or should we save that for next and go top to bottom? Um, I'm still working on on this. I need to. Oh yeah, I need to do the silk touch on uh, the building gadget. Not the building gadget. The Exchanging gadget. Okay, singularity, angel core, vacuum tube. Only one on this I recognize. Oh, we already had the blazing capacitor. I thought. Um, I have it crafting it. Let me see. Oh, it's only at 1.4k. It's almost there. almost there.
Oh, wow. Normally there's not seeds in there, but... Come on. This will help a little bit. Reprocessing the seeds. Uh-oh. So I may need to increase... Um, Maybe the last... Will you stop it? <laughs> stop it! Ah! I got him. I got him. Uh, put the last column in there. Or the last row to be blazing crystal seeds. And that will help increase our blazing capacitor output. so fast I started to fly and then I couldn't go up anymore oh this doesn't have dirt no there we go vibrant color, like a orangish yellow. I like it. Now we got a hundred more that we can fill up. Well, uh, almost a hundred. It's like 92. <laughs> 92. So there, we got that taken care of. Um, let's look at the neural processor one, the raw neural processor, because that's going to eat up a lot of materials. Um, let's get this bookmarked. I'm pretty sure that everything besides the neural processor itself is already craftable by my system. Yeah, the crafting table, uh, the processor binding, the raw improved processor, advanced processor, all of that can be made. Nice. So I only need to add one recipe. Is there any more blank spots here? No. Put the construction block powder in there. So there we go. Now we can just um, do Oh, and I think I'll just craft this. Ooh, it looks like we got everything. Oh, look at it go. Wow, 1500, just like that. That was pretty nice. Um, Of course, uh, none of the stuff needed to be processed, so it was just all raw. It's all raw stuff. So now we got singularity that we can make. Um, let's put you in here. Boop. Take you out. Oh, and, and look inside the order the magical sign I should really put this on the side or something um, so you could see the the full view of the singularity um, Yeah, see, now you can see it. And 
and it's done. What? Okay, now I need to... Oh, I can't get through there. <laughs> there we go. I need to take this guy off. Put it there, I guess. That connects. Uh, only work with the redstone signal and then all that stuff got removed. Um, I'm so used to going through there, I can't get through. <laughs> okay, let's go put this away. Dun, 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 dun. Starting your second row of singularities. And what did we get? A Supremium water cannon? What? That is pretty cool. I never made I, I never made above the base watering can, the iron one. Um, so yeah, I guess, oh, we need the Supremium Coal Singularity. I already helped that along by increasing our Ethereum crop. Uh, so we just wait until it gets to 3,000. Let's check. Let's check our Supremium levels. 584 still. Um, wow. I may, I may need to make another well, like one of those levels. Nothing but Imperium. <laughs> It's taking so much. Or maybe I need to upgrade the power pot. At least one of them to see how much power it's going to take. I mean, I have... I'm burning... Basically burning power down there. Uh, they only need like 55. The base one only needs 55k. And these can produce 80-ish. 80-ish. So I'm curious if, if it would work. Uh, if it would work. Let's try it. Uh, what does it take to make the power pot? Mark 2. Uh, the yellow one is the Mark 2. Takes four more cast iron blocks, which isn't a big deal. Blaze mesh. Oh, flame lilies. I think we found some of those. No, they were different lilies. Um, I can do it. It's just a pain to have to make the blaze rods. Uh, put them in the the press. The multi press um, doodad. So that's not too bad, is it? Another. It's an advanced energy cube. What? <sighs> okay, let's do this. Let's put a mark to. Over there. We finished with our raw neural processor and we added the recipe so now we can make as many as we need. I didn't auto craft that because that is uh, 1500 diamonds and I don't want to We're probably down to like 4000 or something. 5900. <laughs> 5900. Um, but we only have, we cut in half our quartz, our nether quartz. Um, maybe I need to make a seed to help augment that. Oh, I have a nether quartz seed. Do I have the essence? Look at all that Imperium coming into the system. Let's 
pretty cool. <laughs> it's getting put in as fast as it's getting taken out. That's kind of cool. I just checking to see if I had any essence being built up that I wasn't getting processed, but it looks like I'm taking care of everything. Awesome. Um, let's, instead of doing that, um, we'll, I'll look at that in the future, um, in between episodes, uh, cause I want to try, oh, there's my water again, uh, I want to try and look at the HDPE pellets, um, let's, let's see if we can get this. This is what we want. It's the HDPE sheet. <laughs> and it's a long chain. We have to craft eight pellets into a sheet. Um, so we get this by infusing a substrate with oxygen and liquid ethylene. And that gives us the pellet and some leftover oxygen in a pressurized reaction chamber. Okay. Um, now, one of these, the things that made the, the triple process, triple ore processing doable was when, um, when I upgraded the machine that uses the oxygen, this one, uh, with the gas, the increased efficiency of the gas using, uh, that made all the difference because it was basically uh, too expensive to do without that because uh, this just couldn't keep up. Um, but now it can, so I'm, I need to make sure that while I'm doing this uh, with all these gases, I need to make sure I upgrade and use that to help um, to help the process uh, be successful. Uh, so that's how we need this pressurized reaction chamber for the final result. Um, let's look at this. We need the substrate which you get uh, as a byproduct, I think, of making the liquid ethylene. Um, so you use water and hydrogen and biofuel, and that creates a substrate and ethylene. So we need two pressurized reaction chambers. Um, uh, but we first have to get the hydrogen. We can get the water. We gotta get the hydrogen, which is done in the electrolytic separator, which we have one of those already and we're actually producing um, some excess hydrogen, so I don't know if we can use that, um, but I think oxygen is used in part of the process as well. So I think I'll just go ahead and make a whole new machine to, to make our own hydrogen. Um, And that's just part of it. Now we have to um, uh, have a machine. Where did you go? 
to make the biofuel. We can put use a crusher to make biofuel. Uh, that's nether wood block. Nah, I don't want to use that. Um, watermelons, we don't really have an income of watermelon. Potatoes look promising, but we're already using potatoes for a singularity. Oh, sea pickles are the same as potatoes. Uh, wheat. Those all look good. A baked potato is seven. No. interesting the the sunflower because you can bone meal a sunflower and get sunflower so we can turn bone meal into uh, biofuel if, if we need to I wonder if you can do can you do carrots I think carrots would be better to do than wheat because the wheat you only get one per crop whereas the carrots you get multiples like the potatoes. Looks like all the mushrooms are All the saplings give two. Sugarcane gives four. Mm. I think I'd prefer the carrots. Yeah, I think I prefer the carrots because um, let's just see. I think I have a you in here. 699. I think that's what I'm getting from um, from the mob system. Just one carrot every now and then <laughs> from a zombie. Because uh, I, I still have all my planted crops up, up top. Here, that's where I keep all my planted crops. It's still all up there. Um, that's for my own personal food supply. <laughs> it's, not, it's not here. <laughs> I, I gotta have my bacon sandwiches. They're very yummy, delicious. Uh, so. Where do we want to plant our carrots? I could replace um, one of these inferium essence with a carrot because, I mean, I already I only have one potato crop over here. That's spirited. I don't want to remove that. That's carrot steel. Here's an inferium. Let's just swap this one out. Oop. Carrots incoming. <laughs> now we can turn uh, those carrots into uh, Bido. No, it's not Bido Grow. I don't know the. What do you call it? Biofuel. 
it's the same as quite a grow I think um, so we need a crusher for that crusher and that makes mm, So here's the step where we use the oxygen. And here's the step where we use the hydrogen. So I think we need to start with the crusher producing um, the biofuel. And sending that into a pressurized reaction chamber. And then on the other side, we can have the electrolytic separator feeding it hydrogen on one side and then diverting the oxygen to the other side. <laughs> the uh, other pressurized reaction chamber uh, because it needs the oxygen. I think, I think. But we may already have some of these um, main there's a crusher right there, a chemical infuser, chemical injection chamber. Uh, these are all uh, parts of... Oh, there's another crusher, biogenerator. Yeah, okay, so I only have one. Electrolytic separator and two pressurized reaction chambers. Um, electrolytic separator. So we should have everything except for this core off. It's going to be hard to get the osmium dust and the gold and the iron dust. Okay, let's see. Because it, it um, eats the osmium. No, it shouldn't eat the osmium dust anymore. Oh, it shouldn't because all of that is contained. Nah. pressurized reaction chamber, which means two enrichment chambers. I'll need to make two more. 
floor, the second one. Woo! Okay, so we need the tanks. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to need some exporters and some importers. Uh, I don't know if I'll need any of those, but I'll go ahead and make a couple more just in case. Alright, um, I think this episode has gone on for a while, so I may need to do this in between episodes and fiddle around with it, um, trying to get this process down to see what needs to go where and how, <laughs> to see if we can get the production of the pellets and the sheets going. And also work on towards upgrading that power pod to Mark II, just so we can see what it's like, because uh, that would be interesting. And put this um, supremium watering can away. Oh, it's the first time I went in here. Oh, there we go. That's so scary. Um, I had to edit a few videos just so I could record. <laughs> uh, it was lagging so much. Uh, but yes. Oh, look at that. I love this teleporter system. <laughs> I really do. Um, what? Tell me what you think about the teleporters. Do you like them? Leave me a comment. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!